Assalamu alaikum students as we have done with the reading explanation and translation of the unit number 5 the Medina charter we will proceed towards the exercises of Medina charter so keep your pencils in your hand and give your complete concentration here now open page number 46 exercise B choose the correct answer for the following you have to choose the correct answers in the given options number one the faithful followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who had abandoned the ties of kith and kin and followed him in the sentence above the phrase abandoned the ties means now you have to tell the meaning of abandoned the ties what that phrase means as you are well aware of the abandoned that took to finish to end to leave and ties that interaction affiliation so it is very easy you can easily give the answer the a option is held on to relationships b kept relationships c gave up relationships d maintain relationships so simply you can see here that give up and abundant are similar so you can easily write the tick the option Give up relationships. Number two, the new converts of Medina who had helped the pro who had helped the Prophet وسلم, through thick and thin were known as Ansar. In the sentence above, new converts of Medina refers to now you you know that new converts of Medina who had newly accepted any religion. So now see the options A the people of Medina who newly accepted Islam, B the people who newly migrated to Medina. C. The people of Medina who newly refused to accept Islam. D. The people who left Medina to accept Islam. Now you can see the correct option will be A. The people of Medina who newly accepted Islam. Number 3. The Muslims, the Jews and other communities of this republic should be free to profess their own respective religion. The opposite word of the word profess in this sentence is First of all, you have to know what is the meaning of profess. As you know, uh, as you are well aware of this, that profess means to follow. A. Own up. So, it is similar to follow. B. Give up. Give up to end. C. Put up. D. Take up. So, profess, you have to not write the meaning. You have to write the opposite. So, the opposite of the profess will be give up. Number 4. Which of the following is not a clause of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the UN? So, you have to write the that, you have to tick the that clause which were not present in the UN uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the UN. A is we are all free and equal, we are all born free. B. We all have the right to live and to live in freedom and safety. C. Everybody has the right to hurt or to torture each other. D. Education is a primary uh, is a right. Primary education should be free. Now you can see here that A, B, and D were, are the clauses which were present in those in that charter, and these were universally declared of human uh, universal declaration of human rights by the UN. But the point C, the option C which is everybody has the right to hurt or to torture each other that was not present in the clause it was not the part of the, those clauses so option c will be the correct answer number 5 the oppressed should be the oppressed should be protected the word oppressed in this sentence means you have to write the meaning of oppress a free so uh, the free person should be protected no b ill treated L treated means to treat someone in a bad way, in the wrong way. C untroubled, who have no troubles. D exempted, who is free or is who is free from any problems. So the correct answer will be what? You have to write the meaning of oppressed. So oppressed are those who were ill treated. So the correct answer will be option B. Ill treated. Now come to exercise C. Use the following words in sentences of your own. You have to make the sentences of your own. But first of all, you have, you have to know the meaning of these words. Number A is harmony. Harmony literal means it different because it is a musical term. It is used for music. But here we use it, it is as a kind of balance. So 
so you have to use in a sentence in a kind of ba- kind of balance among the people among the uh, among the nature among behaviors or so you can make sentence the two sang the two boys sang a song in harmony or you can say they worked in perfect harmony okay now abolish to put an uh, to put an end to something and put an end get rid of something abolish mean completely finish so you can make the sentence of abolish the government is trying to abolish poverty okay to finish poverty is uh, striving you can make striving and struggling okay the government is struggling to abolish the poverty or you can make sentence people many people fought to abolish slavery during the civil war now come to the third sentence tyrannized tyrannized means oppressed enslaved to treat someone cruelly to dominate over someone so you can make the sentence like the children were tyrannized by their stepmother or he tyrannized his family or you can make the owner tyrannized his employees now the th- the fourth one is trivial trivial means unimportant minor small insignificant so you can make the sentence he used to remember every trivial incident in great detail she often or the other sentence can be she often gets angry about trivial things okay the last one is tolerance tolerance means the ability to tolerate the difference of opinion or behavior means patience means lenience so you can make the sentence tolerance is one of his, his sentence of his strength she has no tolerance for jokes of any kind okay now you can make the sentence of your own you will not repeat those sentences which i have made okay now come to page number 47 on page number 47 we have vocabulary exercise a search the text for the phrases meaning the same as you have to search for those phrases which meaning the exact the which they have given to you for example relatives the word they have used the word the phrase kith and kin for their relatives peaceful coexistence they have used the word harmony for peaceful coexistence good and bad times they have used the phrase thick and thin for good and bad times and freedom they have used the word liberty for the word freedom so these were present in your unit now come to the exercise c on the same page page number 47 i am reading the passage for you and answering the following questions so you have to keep your pencils in your hand to mark out the answers or you can write the answers on the book or in the rough notebook okay when the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated to medina the city was inhabited by different sections of people they were the faithful followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who had abandoned the ties of kith and kin and followed him they were known as muhajirin or refugees the new converts of medina who had helped the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam through thick and thin were known as ansar or helpers number 1 state whether the reference in the first sentence is anaphoric or cataphoric for this for answering this question you first you have to first know what is anaphoric and what is cataphoric anaphoric you can simply say backward reference backward reference means that points backwards to previously mentioned information in text usually items such as as he she or them it is this can be decoded without major difficulty for example tom likes ice cream but bill can't eat it now you know that very well it is referring to the ice cream you have the previous knowledge of the of this it the teacher asked amma to read so he read now you know you are well aware that he is used for the ahmed so noun plus pronoun can you can easily say is anaphoric okay 
cataphoric forward reference forward reference like in the other part of the text you will come to know to, about whom we are talking about what we are talking refers to any reference that points forward to information that will be presented later in the text example when i met her when i met him mary looked ill yes so we are talking about the mary now you can easily see the example is clear to you now i will read out the first sentence for you as we have to know as we have to write whether it is anaphoric or cataphoric when the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated to medina so you can see both of the nouns are given here this city was inhabited by different sections of people this city means the we are here they are talking about the medina so it is simply anaphoric the um, uh, medina is written uh, over there okay so you can write uh, over here um, anaphoric okay number 2 look at at least two transitive and two intransitive verbs first of all you have to revise what is transitive verb and intransitive as you have read before transitive verbs are action verbs that have an object to receive that action like it has object and remember this thing that the the sentences of transitive verbs can be changed into passive okay for example i bake some cookies so direct object is given i ride the bicycle i move the chair so we can easily change them into passive now in transitive verb in transitive verbs are action verbs but unlike transitive verb they do not have an object receiving the action they do not have an object okay so you remember this thing they cannot change into the passive for example i lie i laugh i laugh what i laugh or for example i say i laugh on her so here on her there is no direct object okay i cry the book falls the for example the book falls from the shelf i can add any object here but the object will be indirect object not direct object so the question is look at at least two transitive and two intransitive so let me read out the passage when the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated to medina migrated so here you can underline the migrated as in the uh, intransitive verb because to medina is written here not a direct object okay this sentence cannot be changed into passive this city was inhabited by different sections of people they were the faithful followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who had abandoned the ties of kith and kin abandoned the ties so abandoned is transitive verb you can change this sentence into passive and followed him followed followed is also a transitive verb so we have find out two transitive verbs and we have find out one intransitive verb which is migrated they were known as mahajireen or refugees known so the sentence is already given in the passive so it is an intransitive verb known is intransitive verb okay so two transitive and so uh, two intransitive verbs are we have found the the la the third question is what is the main idea of the passage yes what main idea we can see in the passage the main idea of the passage is they are talking about the migration people migration to medina the number 2 is faithful followers of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam number 3 different communities of medina so there are three different uh, i have given you and you can also make your own uh, ideas you can also write your own main idea what you have got from that passage number 4 is identify the tense of of the passage you have to identify so the the tense of the passage is clearly in front to it is a past tense okay girls allah hafiz till the next class stay healthy keep smiling